welcome back and uh, we say good morning here to Joe McGann and Diana Weston from uh, The Upper Hand. Morning. Lovely to have you here. Do you sort of get on as well in real life as you apparently do on the screen? Oh. I hate I got... No, yeah, we do actually. We <laughs> yeah. do. It's, 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 it's been one of those um, really lucky shows, I mean, for all of us concerned. It's been very, very... Very easy to work, you know. It's so very much a team, really. Yeah. Everyone gets on this. It's quite a small team when we're rehearsing. Yeah. It's just, I mean, the five characters are director and sort of producer there all the time, and it's yeah. except yeah. for our guests, of course. And you yeah. all sort of talk about children off off screen, don't you? I mean, yeah. you, you basically, a qualification is almost to be a parent, to, to be yeah, on the I mean, people who come into the show, you know, yeah, you have you either have to have a baby or people seem to have one just afterwards. There's a couple of guests that came, <laughs> yeah. a couple of guests came along and they were pregnant. After, don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we have the Keep same phenomenon on this show, actually. Almost all our presenters seem to be at the moment pregnant. The, the female ones, in, yeah. not including me, I have yeah. to say. Yeah. 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 They're, they're all expecting something other. Th this relationship between you on screen, though, it's, it's one of those very tantalising things, isn't it? It's the mm. sort of, you could be falling in love, but you're well, not going. quite. It's, uh, it's, mm. it, it's, it's, you want to, but you're not going to let yourself. It's that sort of well, feeling. Well, it's been running it? in America for seven years now, so, so uh, season, I yeah. think if they... The American they find, Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Who's, the, who's, the, who's boss? the boss? Yeah. Yeah. So if, you've, if they finally got it together, I suppose it would be the end. Except, yes. except, not giving anything away, but we're making the final one of the batch we're doing now. And yes. Uh, there is a declaration. Oh, is there a declaration? Are there, are there, just, just one thing, are the scripts that, you, that you, you, you deliver, are they really the American scripts with all the Americanisms sort of inked out? Yeah. And English yeah. things put in like football instead yeah. of baseball That's and right. that kind of stuff. All That's of right. that, all of that. Yeah. I mean, we have, we have a guy called Greg who beavers away, along with the director and the producer. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. they beaver away, they take out all the obvious Americanisms. Well, I have yes. to say congratulations, then, because I would never have known it. You can usually tell when scripts have been sort of mm. imported wholesale, can't you? But well, uh, the humour is, is very fast, very slick, and, and it's good to have it in, in this country, I think. So mm. you can get away with quite a few Americanisms. Mm. Yeah. But you can see the American role, actually. I mean, yeah. I, I don't mean the, the actor's role, but you can see the model. I mean, I, you, you can imagine that in an American sit in setting, in this sort of the, the big living room. You know, yeah. it's all quite large scale, isn't it, yeah. in the way it's directed? It's also yeah. nice, I mean, sort of, with, with, I mean, the American sitcoms seem to have a a better way of getting real emotions in. I mean, in actual fact, I think they, they sometimes go a bit too far with it. It becomes a bit Slushy. schmaltzy. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, if you play that down, if we play it, like, kind of in a, a British, I suppose, fashion, it, then it works out for us as quite a nice balance because, I mean, it's good light entertainment. Yeah. But also this version is more romantic, I think, yes. than theirs. Oh, well, talking of romance and this sort of little tantalising relationship between the two of you, let's see a clip from tonight's episode, I think. Tom, where on earth did you get the money to pay for that dinner? It was over 200 pounds. Hang on, hang on. I want a good seat for this. <laughs> I used your credit card. I knew I should have asked for a doggy bag. Tom, I don't know what kind of a stunt you've pulled, but you better have a very good explanation. Now, you tell me why you did this. So I want you and Charlie to get married. <sighs> Kids say the funniest things. <laughs> Sweetheart, why do you want us to get married? So Charlie can be my dad. Oh, Tom. Look, that means a great deal to me, but I don't have to be married to your mum to be here any time you need me. But why don't you get married? Uh, darling, Charlie and I care for each other a great deal, but. Mm. Not in that kind of way. I don't get it. You're not married, he's not married. You like him, he likes you. Even after he's seen you in your bathrobe, Mummy. <laughs> well, then you've got to get hitched. I mean, you know, That's you see some of the it's a simple question, but what's it like working with, with fairly young young actors and actresses like they those two are there? Is it difficult? They are so brilliant, those right? two. They really I mean, are. We're so lucky. Yeah, of yeah. all the kids you can have, they're just so professional. And they yeah. always know their lines quicker than we do. <laughs> Certainly quicker than I do. <laughs> yeah. Certainly quicker than I do. No, they're fabulous, a pair of them. Uh, they're a lot of fun. I mean, and again, you know, they're part of the team. We get, we all get on. I mean, the other night there was a karaoke night. There's a charity night. And they got up and, and they were getting sang. up and they were sang magnificent. together. They were great. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's fun to do. You know, it's, it's easy to turn into work, and that that's always a bonus. And if that gets to the screen, then and you I know, think it does. It's worth it. You know, you're cooking, yeah. Talking of the sort of the genesis of the Upper Hand, which is the American series, you spent quite a long time over there with uh, your chap. Robert Lindsay. Robert Lindsay. Lindsay. I lived in New York for a year. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So did you used to watch it? I saw it there, yeah. just by fluke, flicking through nine million channels, and I couldn't work out the relationship at all, not knowing the plot. No. 
I thought, look, there's something wrong with these two. It's not that <laughs> they don't yeah. seem to be living together, or it was very strange. Did you I have also to tell you, I must very, 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 very quickly on that point. A lot of people don't realise that Judy and I are married, and we get letters from people saying, "Are you having an affair?" Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should give yourself some very funny looks. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't interrupt. No, I was going to say, yeah, while you were over there, you actually had the experience of working in, in an American long-running soap. Yes, yeah, yeah. Where's the world? It's the world too. Uh, been going for thirty. Well, it must have been thirty-five years mm. now. And it is was... it true that you didn't? You only knew from day to day whether you were on the next day. Well, you have to get an hours film in the can a day yeah. so that means you start at seven you just keep going to the end and at midnight you go into this room and you say excuse me I'm, am I in tomorrow <laughs> but I mean there's no rhyme or reason why the plot follows the plot it follows I mean mm. one day they would say when this man comes in could you look really sexily at him so you think oh, I'm not gonna ask why but I will and the next day they say you hate him there's been no scene in the middle <laughs> nothing different director every day it's, it's and what, was your, like what was your demise at the end of it? What happened to your character? I got character? strangled. <laughs> Quite rightly, to oh, shut that woman up, for heaven's sake. Well, how much notice did you get of that? Oh, it was the night before. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. One, one thing, I mean, you went to America. It was a bit of a difficult decision for you because Robert Lindy was going over there. In, um, I Near now. My Girl. Near My Girl, thank you. Um, and you had an offer of a good job here, but you decided to follow him. Is that because you figured the marriage wouldn't really, you know, survive that how kind of separation? How can The whole year he was out there. It's impossible. Mm. So, I mean, it, in the end, the decision's quite easy. You think, well, the toss-up is, do you still keep going with your relationship or not? Mm. Yeah. And it was wonderful out there. I mean, what a year just to meet every single one of your heroes. You'd like to break into film, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, with a big hammer. No, it's, I, I would. <laughs> I would. Um, I mean, you look at the Oscar ceremony and you think, I want to be up that. there one day. Yeah, not just, not, just, not just up there. I'd like to make films. I mean, I've always been fascinated, like, not, not necessarily as a director, but raising the money, getting the money together, because everybody says it can't be done these days in Britain, and everyone's mm -hmm. bemoaning the fact. But I think there are people around, and I mean, if you have energy, mm. which I do, I believe, uh, I think, you know, my brothers and I are working on something, actually, sort of uh, hoping to make something next year. What was your turn again, Clem? Yeah. Speak? All of you? Yeah. Oh, really? All of us except my sister. Isn't the screen big enough for them all? <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, Have you met the others? You know, you I know to, Paul. Yeah. Yes. But, you've been to to, but you worked together before on Yakety Yak, didn't you? That's yeah. right, yeah. yeah. It's the only time. Yeah. The only time we've all worked together, and that was... Uh, I, I thought that. Anarchic. <laughs> and what was it fun? Great. I mean, did you oh, get on? The best fun, yeah. I yeah. mean, so we do actually get on because we're all very different people, you know, sort of, and so it's easy for us to get on. It's not like kind of... It's not really like peas from a pod, mm. you know, it, it's four very different personalities there. But talking about films, I mean, is, when you do a lot of work in television and on the stage, as, as, as you've both done, mm. do films have a kind of glamour, a kind of shine and sheen to them? Oh, they do. I mean, yeah. they, it moves they differently. It, 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 you know, the, the, whole, the whole mystique surrounding them is, 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 is fantastic. I mean, it's what, it's what really I was brought up on. You know, yeah. I mean, although, I mean, I did, the first time I went to the theatre, I loved that too. But films, I mean, that's where, where I, was, I was weaned. I'm, I can lose myself in a very, very bad film. <laughs> as much as a good film, I really can't just like kind of right, switch yeah, off and get into well, it. Acting in film would be, in some ways, less satisfying than theatre. You've got to do endless retakes. Mm. That's the same with television, I suppose. But you've got you to do. You can get it absolutely right. Yeah. Really. Yes. Mm. And, and it, it, but it's, it's just it's here. It's just literally in the eyes and mm. here. Whereas yeah. on the stage, it's a huge. You have to bigger and bigger and bigger. Yes. Yeah. And as you say, you've got more time to get it right. Yeah. So, I mean, you might spend maybe a whole day just shooting one close-up scene just to get mm. the look right, the eyes right, the lighting right. In television, we all know what it's about. It's, yeah. it's a production line, and you've got to churn it out, haven't you? Yeah. So, more, so more satisfaction with the end product, really, is what you're saying. Well, yeah, I mean, that, because uh, that, there's something about the magic of, uh, you know, this piece of celluloid. I mean, it, it, it makes something that moves differently, you know, that sounds differently. It means music works better with film and stuff like this. The whole mm. atmosphere is better. Mm. I mean, I just love it. I love, I love the mystique of it. Do you, think, do you think you'll all stay actors, or do you think you'll, some of you will move into production, directing? I can't see me personally stopping acting, because uh, really? I like the process of that job too, but I mean, I would like to also you know, be, be around the other side of the camera. Like I say, not necessarily as a director, I think that's too hard, I think that's too hard. <laughs> It'd be nice to be able to create your own work, yeah. I mean, on the production side, find a project and yes. then start it off, otherwise... No, that's you know, you're always at everyone's beck and call. Everybody wants a bit of control, don't yes, they, really, in this exactly. business? Absolutely. Mm. Well, listen, thanks very much for coming in. Give our love to Anna Blackman, because she was on the show before. Yes. Tell her we loved the bit when she came out of the cake last week. Oh, yeah, we all. The things are grab hold of for her children. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Anyway, nice to meet you both. Thanks yes. for coming on. Thank you. And it's a break time once again, but uh, we'll be back shortly with this morning's phone.